Tierra Wack is quickly becoming one of the brightest new stars in hip hop. She's gotten co signs from hip hop juggernauts like Meek Mill and appeared on Beyonce's The Gift album. But what really makes Tierra Wack one of a kind is her video style. The MC dropped her visual album, Wack World, with undeniable success. With that album, she released 15 wildly creative music videos. The most fun video to shoot was definitely... So many 15... Ah. Each video comes with a host of references and eye-popping visuals that match her fresh take on hip-hop. In addition to her lyricism and rapid-fire flow, here's why her groundbreaking video style is making her an artist to watch. Tara Wack first appeared on the scene at age 15, when she did an impromptu freestyle for one of Philly's underground rap collectives. When I started freestyling in Philly, I was really young, and that was just like something to do. Everybody was doing it, and it kind of like helped me to get my buzz, you know, in the streets and everything. The video of her rapping got posted online and racked up tens of thousands of views overnight. From there, she started showcasing her talents on local radio stations, freestyling for the likes of Meek Mill and ASAP Rocky, who compared her flow to Kendrick Lamar's. Eventually, I was like, you know what? I think I really want to take this rap so serious. So, um, I started getting into the studio, just really trying to like write hooks. She recorded her first hit single, Mumbo Jumbo, in 2017, the day after getting her teeth pulled. Because of her loopy state at the time, the lyrics sound like total gibberish. In other words, it's an extreme and catchy take on mumble rap. But it was Mumbo Jumbo's dentist office theme video that really made the song go viral, turning Solange into a fan. She also earned praise from Kevin Abstract. Abstract called Mumbo Jumbo the best music video he'd seen all year. But Mumbo Jumbo was only the beginning. Tierra took her video game to a whole new level with her debut album, Whack World. The project contains 15 tracks, each clocking in at 60 seconds and accompanied by its own video. Each one of the video's concepts is distinct from the next, yet the whole thing flows from beginning to end like a short film, seamlessly taking us through the weird and captivating world of Tierra Wack's mind. To bring her vision to life, Tierra enlisted the help of Thibaut Duvernay and his team at Jaunty Home Studio in Montreal. If I could categorize the style of Wack World, I would say it's made for people who have a very short attention span and it's like a candy. The project was first released on Instagram and it made clever use of the platform's three column grid design. I wrote all the songs in 60 seconds. We made the beat and I was writing to the beat. While the beat was getting made, we had the idea like solidified. But shooting 15 one-minute videos, each with its own set, concept, and special effects, all in two days, was no small undertaking. We thought it was a great idea, but uh, also an, uh, an amazing challenge. It, it means like literally creating 15 little films that would eventually live together on the platform. But we also wanted to make it like a 15-minute standalone movie that we could release on the internet. One reason why Wax projects feel more like mini films than music videos is because they take inspiration from our favorite movie genre, horror. Tiara had already showed off her appreciation for dark humor in early videos like Mumbo Jumbo, and DuVernay helped her incorporate those themes into Wack World. Like in her video for Bugs Life, when Tierra pulls back her hoodie to reveal a grotesque, half-swollen face. I do not like summertime because that's when the bugs come out and I'm allergic to bug bites. So that was like, let's make your face swollen like you had like a crazy allergic reaction. Oh my God. But then also, Bugs Life is one of my favorite movies, like so classic, like favorite ever. Horror motifs is something you'll see a lot of in the visuals for Whack World. The surprisingly upbeat song, Pet Cemetery references both the terrifying Stephen King novel and the kids' animated film, All Dogs Go to Heaven. All dogs go to heaven the tombstone is also a nod to the comedy horror series, Being Human. Sally Malik is a ghost on the show, whose character also died in 2010. The video captures the play between light and dark, showing Tierra hanging out with giant Muppet-like creatures in a graveyard while singing about death and mourning. There's a lot of childhood nostalgia in Whack World. Dr. Seuss draws inspiration from Alice in Wonderland, 
Fruit Salad is based on the song by The Wiggles. And the video concept for Hungry Hippo is an irreverent play on the classic Hasbro Kids game, Hungry Hungry Hippos, right down to the color coding. The most fun video to shoot was definitely... So many 15... Ah. Fruit Salad. Yeah. In the final video for WAP World, Waze, Tara sits in a room as it fills up with soapy suds. Out of all my music videos, the most challenging was definitely Waze. Waze was crazy. Um, I had to like sit in the same like stance for like, it was so long and I couldn't breathe. The bubbles smell like bleach. She had to hold still, not coughing and, and like not crying. Also, what's funny is like in the track, where you can hear her coughing. <coughs> but she couldn't cough on set. <laughs> Tiara's vision puts her next in line in a series of true hip-hop originals. She cites the original music video queen, Missy Elliott, amongst her biggest artistic influences, along with other hip-hop vanguards like Busta Rhymes and Kanye West. She also named OutKast her favorite rap duo and has referred to Andre 3000 as her, quote, father. From inspiration to execution, WAC has earned some serious accolades, especially after WAC World. She got a Best Music Video nod at the Grammys for her visuals to Mumbo Jumbo. And now she's fresh off landing a coveted spot in the XXL freshman class. Pitchfork put WAC World at number nine on their list of the 50 best albums of 2018 and Billboard put it on their critics' picks list of the 100 greatest music videos in the 21st century. All right, so guys, what did you think of WAP World and which tracks would you like to see some visuals for? Let us know in the comments below.